So hello everyone, so I'm Chris from PK9 Online and with me today we have a very stylish hound named Bobo. So we're gonna be doing a video today on crate training. Um, look, to be honest, you guys can jump online and just do some research. There's hundreds of reasons why crate training is good. So I'm not gonna bore you with all those things today. So hopefully you've already done your research on that. So here we just wanna show you, I guess, how we get started with crate training. So for us, that's a really big question we have because so many people are unsure of what to do and how to get started. So really simply, all you need to start off with is time, patience, food, a crate. And I generally like having a leash as well. Now. When we're doing this today, we're also using, so in our crate, we've got a dog mat in there and we also have a cover. So for me, I really like the covers. First and foremost, let's be honest, metal crates are really ugly. Um, they're, they're a big eyesore. So having a cover like this on there makes it a little bit more fashionable, makes it look a bit nicer, but also as well, dogs are naturally den animals. So it's a little bit more covered, a little bit more dark. They generally feel a little bit more comfortable in there. So that's what I guess we use those for, that's what we like. Now. All I'm gonna do with Bobo is I'm literally just gonna open up the door. I was gonna hang out here for a little tick. We're gonna let him explore. So as you can see, Bobo already is straight in there. So as he's in there, I'm just gonna drop some food. So this is Bobo's first time with this crane exploring it. Now he's gonna give him some food in here. Good boy. Hey, he's being the absolute model citizen. Now normally crate training doesn't go that easily. So he got out, that's fine. Cause initially you don't wanna force a dog in there. You just want them to be comfortable, go in and out on there on their own. Come on, Bobo. It makes it a lot easier if a dog wants to take food, but Bobo's had a very busy day. He doesn't want to take food. You can see he just wants to, naturally he's gravitated towards here to come in to have a nap, which is what your crate should do. I do have some chews here as well. Bobo, hey big man, come over here. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, is that a yummy? No, you don't want any food today? So Bobo's had enough for today, but we can literally Good boy, just guide him in there a little bit. And even as he's in here, I just wanna give him some pats and cuddles. Good boy, just get the dog comfortable going in and out. Hey, my big dude, do you want this? No? All right, Bobo, go on big man, hop in. No, all the way in. Good boy. So what I'm gonna do now is this is the part where everyone gets stuck. I'm just gonna close the door. Now, the biggest mistake so many people make is they close the door and then leave the dog. This is where you're really going to struggle. So as I first start working on this, let's see, so both of clawing a little bit to get out. I don't want to leave the dog. I don't want to just put the dog in the crate and walk away because this will create undue stress. So what you're all going to do is going to sit here, hang out. He can lick and nibble my finger a little bit. So as you can see, he's a little bit stressed. This is all pretty normal. So he's now, let's give him a second, see what he does. Good boy, Bobo. Good boy, but here I see him on, give him some little pats through here. Let him just chill. He's doing his best to claw and everything else. This is all pretty normal. Good boy. Yeah, because the problem is if you let him out whilst he's doing this, you make the, you make the situation worse. <laughs> Good boy, Bobo. Good boy. So now I'm just gonna let him out for a tick. Good boy. Free. He can come out. Hey, big man. A second, I'm ready again. Just a little bit of pressure. Come on. Hey, big guy. Bye, bye. You don't want to go back in? That's fine. So here we take our time because it makes it a lot easier if a dog wants to take food. Hop in. Good boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, some pats and cuddles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Free. He can come out. Now let's use a little bit of leash. Bye, bye. Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you're not meant to get on top of a crate. <laughs> Come on, big dude. Bye, bye. Let's go. Hop in. Good boy. So we put him in there. Close the door. Good boy. Wait one second. Free. Good boy. Let him out. Hey, big guy. Bye, bye. Someone's going to use a leash. Hop. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> You know, I'm to get on top of the crate. Come on, big guy. Come on. So it's going to use a little bit of leash pressure. Bye, bro. Come on. <laughs> oh, this is all because, so some other videos, I spent time teaching him to jump on top of things. Now he thinks that's what he's got to do. So I'm going to help guide him with my hand. Bye, bro. Hop in. Good boy. He gets in. It's going to close the door for a second. Good boy, Bobo. Good boy. We'll see if he'll take food. No, you still don't want any Bobo nummies. 
not not today that's fine so as soon as we're ready free we let him out good boy all right bye bye come on let's go no hop in no no i don't get up on it <laughs> bye bye come on so this happens to you at home don't stress bye bye come on pop up hey come on let's go hop in good boy good boy you're such a good boy you're the bobo nummies the bobo nummies so now he's finally taking some food so i'm rewarding him a fair bit here which is nice good boy bobo good boy as soon as we're ready, open it up. Free. Good boy. Bye bye. Come back here. <laughs> he found a treat on the ground. Good boy. So, gonna use a leash, a little bit of food. Bye bye. Come on. Let's go. No, no, no. No, you're not jumping on top of it. Come on. Bye bye. Come on. Hop in. He hops in the crate. We can reward him there. Close the door. Good boy. Free, let him out. Good. So I always like having a leash on here, I guess, because as well, I guess after a while, we want hopping the crate to be non negotiable. Bye bye. Come on, hop in. Yes. Good boy. Free. Bye bye. Come on. So out. Bye bye. Come on, hop in. Good boy. So reward. Close the door. Close the reward. Reward, reward, free. One last time for good measure, Bobo. Okay, Bobo, come on, let's go, hop in. Hey, and that's a perfect one to end on. So, yum, 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 yum. Oh, that one dropped down. Got a little chew here, we'll see if we'll take the chew. Do you want the fishy chew? No, nah, you don't want the chew. So another piece of Prime 100. Good boy. So hope everyone enjoyed that video. So just to recap, first and foremost, take your time with it. Be nice and slow. Don't just put your dog in a crate, close the door and walk away. Spend a lot of time just putting him in and out, in and out, and making it a real enjoyable experience for him. Once they're good with that, then you can then slowly start building up how long they stay in there for. Thank you.